Dear Patriots, before the news starts, please, subscribe to our patriotic channel by clicking the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up to this video. Don't forget to leave your opinion below in the comments section. Share the news on Facebook and Twitter so you friends see it. Thank you. Sarah Sanders attacked for her faith, but her epic response will make Christians proud. Sarah Huckabee Sanders doesn't care if the media is out to get her. When attacked, she focuses on God, something the media seriously needs. This week, the Washington Post ran a story called How Sarah Huckabee Sanders Sees the World. The tone is entirely predictable for the left-wing paper. At the beginning, they use a quote from SNL's version of Sanders to describe the press secretary. I'm no nonsense, says SNL's Sanders, but I'm you all nonsense. Then, later in the article, the author echoes sentiments that fellow Christians would be likely to raise eyebrows about a mother of young children taking such a high-powered, round-the-clock job. Their backward view of Sanders' religion is ironic, considering the count Sanders gave them for the article. If someone says something about another faith, particularly liberals come to their defense in a raging motion, but if someone attacks a Christian, it's perfectly fine. At some point, we became a culture that said that was okay. When the paper turned their attention toward Donald Trump's White House behavior, Sanders' quote speaks volumes about her respect for the Lord, and her disdain for media drama. As a person of faith, I think we all have one perfect role model. And when I'm asked that question, I point to God. I point to my faith. And that's where I always tell my kids to look. When attacked, Sarah Sanders keeps it classy. The media can learn a thing or two about her grace, but they're too blind to see when they've been schooled by a pro. Comment I love Sarah. And share if you're proud to have a press secretary that loves God. Liberals may hate it, but Sanders' focus on faith needs to be encouraged. Anthony Bourdain just ripped off Hillary's mask and showed the world who she really is. Hillary Clinton got on CNN Wednesday for an interview with Fareed Zakaria in which she condemned disgraced Hollywood movie exec and Democratic bankroller Harvey Weinstein and vowed to donate the funds he had given her for her political campaigns. She said during the interview, I was appalled. It was something that was just intolerable in every way. Continuing. And, you know, like so many people who've come forward and spoken out, this was a different side of a person who I and many others had known in the past. Right, sure. Celebrity chef Anthony Bourdain wasn't buying the bull and put Hillary on blast in a tender tirade. As more of the allegations against Weinstein come to light, it becomes more obvious just how many people in Hollywood knew about his disgusting treatment of women. Weinstein was a huge Democratic donor and fundraiser raising millions for Hillary's 2016 political campaign. Bourdain has a personal connection to Weinstein's sick ways he is currently dating Asia Argento, an actress who has accused Weinstein of rape. That he would come out and criticize her after her interview is telling and speaks volumes about Hillary's conniving ways. Everyone seemed to know about this creep why was Hillary seeming to feign all this shock? H.T. Washington Examiner Shock report Obama's worst nightmare just came back to bite him years later. Senior congressional leaders are now turning up the heat on the Obama and masking scandal after reports that Samantha Power, the former U.N. ambassador, was abusing the system. The recent admission shows that Trump's associates were targeted for meeting UAE Crown Prince Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. According to the Washington Free Beacon, congressional leaders have said that investigating Obama and masking scandal is gaining steam on Capitol Hill. The misuse of intelligence information by members of the Obama administration is a serious issue that requires an exhaustive investigation and accountability, Rep. Ron DeSantis, R. Florida, chair of House Subcommittee on National Security, told the Free Beacon. Apparently, 
the Democrats have dug a deeper hole with themselves as the Russian investigation has found damning evidence about the Obama administration. Congress is determined to follow the facts wherever they may lead us. And, ironically, the most damning revelations of the Russia investigation thus far incriminates the Obama administration, said the official, who was not authorized to speak on record. Susan Rice's admission to widespread unmasking against Trump associates may just be the tip of the iceberg. We are going to get to the bottom of this. Share this if you want them to keep on digging on the Obama administration. Do you think Obama should be tried in court for all his criminal actions as president? Comment below. Moments ago Trump tweeted out two words that'll destroy NBC. Reporters are freaking. President Donald Trump is about to take down MSNB. He said that they might be worse than CNN. Ha 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 ha. Imagine being a reporter right now at NBC and seeing this tweet this morning from the president. NBC recently falsely reported that Secretary of State Rex Tirson called Trump a moron. Tirson denied this. Even Defense Secretary James Mattis came back against their frivolous reporting. Fake at Nth News made up a story that I wanted a tenfold increase in our U.S. nuclear arsenal. Pure fiction, made up to demean. NBC equals CNN. Trump tweeted earlier this week. With all of the fake news coming out of NBC and the networks, at what point is it appropriate to challenge their license? Bad for country. He added in another tweet. Ouch. NBC better get their crap together. They are almost as bad as CNN at this point. Or, they are almost as bad as the New York Times. That right there is why nobody can trust the media. They pretend to be unbiased, but they aren't. Share this everywhere if you are tired of the biased media. They need to stop with all the lying. Benghazi hero sees Eminem's anti-Trump rap, then he tears him apart limp from limb. Over the Hill rap star Eminem recently released a video bashing President Trump as hard as possible in a freestyle rap. That was to be expected on some level. Marshall Mathers has never been accused of being a conservative. The crazier part is that M told his Trump supporting fans to F off. No joke. That's literally the last line of the freestyle. Racism is the only thing he's fantastic for because that's how he gets his F in rocks off and he's orange. Yeah, sick Dan. That's why he wants us to disband. Because he cannot withstand the fact we're not afraid of Trump. Walking on eggshells, I came to stomp. That's why he keeps screaming drain the swamp, because he's in quicksand. Now if you're a black athlete, you're a spoiled little brat for trying to use your platform or your stature to try to give those a voice who don't have one. He says you're spitting in the face of its who fought for us, UBS unless you're a POW, who's tortured and battered because to him you're zeros because he don't like his war heroes captured. Saw some posts this morning about the candy rapper M and M rapping his opinion, will it sway me to disrespect the flag and follow the opinion of the ex 49 or QB and kneel during the Pledge of Allegiance disrespecting all who served comma dot 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 wait, no it didn't. If I want advice on how to commit domestic abuse, live in excess, disrespect the masses as well as lessons on ungratefulness I'll listen to M and M and the NFL players. Until then I'll wear my shirt with pride throughout my travels and continue to stand for the flag and pledge of allegiance for this great nation. I'll be damned if I let anyone including adolescent athletes and pop culture crybabies turn this symbol of freedom and courage, who many of my teammates, families, and friends sacrificed for, into a symbol of oppression and bigotry. The only bigots and racists I have seen throughout this are from the kneelers and their supporters. For hell's sake I even saw a post stating that those that support the are the ones who burn crosses. Really? You have to be a special kind of stupid for that view, guess my Latino cross burning crew will need to get our torches ready for tonight. Like me or not for saying this, I could give a SHT, unflow me, I won't lose a wink of sleep. I'll continue standing for this great country, for freedom, 
for honor, for courage, and sacrifice and the symbol this represents. So I'm crossing your line in the sand killer. Bullseye, Chris. Share this if you agree with this Marine. H-T-I-J-R Paul Ryan just got up and said six shocking words that had Congress trembling in fear. Speaker of the House Paul Ryan, D.Y., has not always been the strongest Republican leader. That being said, with the year nearly over and Congress still unable to pass some key pieces of legislation such as health care reform, Ryan has stepped up to the plate to get something done. The next big piece of legislation the House is looking to pass is tax reform. President Trump campaigned for a simplified tax code that would see more Americans bringing home more of their paychecks. While speaking at the Heritage Foundation, Ryan gave a stern warning that if Congress could not pull through for the American people again, they'd be working over Christmas. We're going to keep people here for Christmas if we have to. I don't care. We have to get this done. We have to get this done. Those are six words Congress probably isn't used to hearing. The last time the tax code was overhauled was in 1986. Republicans currently control the legislative and executive branches, creating an ideal situation to enact much-needed major reforms. Ideally, Congress won't even have to go into an extended session. According to Ryan, they are actually on track to get the new tax legislation passed and over to the Senate in November. Either way, it looks very promising that our political leaders are finally ready to buckle down and work for the American people. We will be covering tax reform very closely so stay tuned. HT Roll Call